as we head east. We're following the path of Eurovision in the new millennium. Some big changes took place. Firstly, the orchestra disappeared. Then you could sing in English if you wanted. And let's face it, most winners are sung in English. But it was the fiercely proud Serbs who in the first year they entered Eurovision won with a song in Serbian with the fabulous Maria Serafovic. <gasps> Actually, she reminds me a little bit of Penny Wong. Here in Belgrade, there's a famous musical family called the Kovacs, and all of them write music, the dad and the two daughters. But it was Christina Kovac who wrote one of my favourite songs from last year, Charaban, and I'm about to meet her. Hi, Christina. Hey. Hi. I was a bit early. No, I was on time. That's OK. okay. Hey, great to see you again. You too. Now, you know, of all the songs last year, the one I wanted to perform the most was Charaban. Uh, I know. Well, maybe I can help make that happen. Really? Mm -hmm. Charaban was a song without a singer until Christina spotted 22-year-old Nina singing on YouTube. Unknown at the time, Nina blew the doors off at Eurovision and a star was born. I absolutely love this song. Not that I'm making a big deal of it. Charoban bucks the Eurovision trend for English lyrics. But this wasn't strictly the choice of songwriter Christina. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, you know the story about Serbia for the last 20 years. There was a lot of turmoil, a lot of nationalism, and a lot of nationalism has unfortunately stayed. So a lot of times there's this um, patriotism that gets mentioned in the, in the sense of, you know, letting the song be in Serbian. But um, a lot of people, a lot of audiences from Europe say that they like it better in, in Serbian. So maybe it's not bad that we did it in Serbian after all. Before Christina could represent Serbia at Eurovision last year, she had to overcome rivals within her own family. Is there competition between your father and your sister and you when you write for local finals? Sure. I mean, there is a kind of a com competition feeling about it because it is a competition in the end. Uh, but, of course, yeah, you can't uh, really say that you have a problem with uh, another member of your family winning the competition. I was glad that I won. Of course. Uh, <laughs> of course you was. And finally, what are you doing now? I am now, now working very hard, making new songs and trying to, to play songs uh, in Europe, in the US, in the UK, in Japan. Maybe Australia. Australia. I love yes, it. Yes. Thank you, Christina. Dobre, bro. Dobro. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs>